Now, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I mean, uh, I'm sick of sitting in the stands watching these incredible pros dominate every single day. So I decided to become one, and so can you. And I'm going to show you exactly how. Well, kind of. So technically, I'm not a pro yet. But I did get to experience what it felt like to score Justin's famous zero-second goal. Well, that is if the goal was unsponsored and literally nobody was watching. Regardless, it was incredible. Not only that, but I also got to change the entire course of history by easily saving Justin's shot. But the question is, how in the teammate blaming Platt did I do this? One word. Ripcore. And today I'm going to show you step by step how to download, install, and start using Ripcore so you can play alongside absolute legends like Squishy Buffins, Garrett G, KDOP, and of course, Fireburner. So first, let's head over to RipcoreGaming.com, and this is what you should see on the home page. Now before we commit to anything, what exactly is Ripcore? Ripcore is an essential addition for both competitive and casual gamers, offering unique training tools that will enhance your gaming experience. Whether you're looking to hone in a specific skill or learn completely new ones, Ripcore is a need for every gamer. Okay guys, so now that we're acquainted, let's go ahead and create an account. I've already made one, so I'm just going to go ahead and log on so you can see what to expect. Now this is a subscription based website, so let's go ahead and click on the subscriptions and see what they have to offer. So first we need to go ahead and choose our package. Now it's really cool because they do offer a completely free package. Now this will be more basic, but it will introduce you to the mod. And here are the benefits. They also offer a $1 mid tier package, which is right here, and these are the benefits. Finally, they'll offer a $5 premium tier, which is what I'm currently using. This is everything you get. Keep in mind, it is a monthly payment, so be sure to tell your parents when they give you that credit card. Once you subscribed, we need to go ahead and install the program by clicking on Client, and then clicking Download Ripcore Client. Before we move any further, head over to BacchusMod.com if you haven't downloaded BacchusMod, because you will need this program to run Ripcore. Now keep in mind, the people who made this suggested that you create a folder within your C drive, within documents called Ripcore, and eventually extract Ripcore there, but my C drive is currently cannibalizing itself, so this didn't work for me. So what I did was install it within my Bacchus Mod folder. If you want to go this route, the easiest way to find your Bacchus Mod folder is to go ahead and open Bacchus Mod, and then just click File, Open Bacchus Mod Folder. Now the whole reason I did this was to be able to access the Plugins folder right here. But keep in mind guys, you're going to need this Bacchus Mod folder again, so go ahead and pin it to Quick Access, or just write down the file path. Next, just locate the Ripcore zip file, which will most likely be wherever your downloads go, and extract it. Now, within my plugins folder, I created a folder called Ripcore, and I actually extracted everything here. Now, this part's a little weird, guys, but outside of my Ripcore folder, I noticed I had a Ripcore.dll file. Now, I'm not sure if I accidentally placed this here at one point, but I do know that when I deleted this file as an experiment, it did not show up in Bacchus Mod anymore. If this happens to you, before you worry about that Ripcore.dll file being outside of your Ripcore folder, just go into Bacchus Mod first and open your plugin manager and make sure Ripcore is actually checked. This could be why it's not showing up. If that doesn't work, then just make sure you have that Ripcore.dll file there and it should work because it works for me. Now, if your ears aren't bleeding yet, go ahead and open Rocket League, guys, and just take a look at this beauty right here. Oof. After you've taken a cold shower, guys, go ahead and press F2 and open your plugin manager. Make sure that Ripcore is checked here. This is going to be vital to being able to use Ripcore. Once you've made sure that's checked, it should be showing up in that left-hand column right there. Go ahead and click on Ripcore and open it up. Now, it should look something like this. Keep in mind that I've already downloaded some of their packs from their website and some replay files of my own. If you guys want to download your own packs, go back to their website at ripcoregaming.com and then click on Get Packs. There are a bunch of packs to choose from, and why not try them all? And after that, guys, click on the ones you want to try. We're going to go with the legendary zero second goal and click start match. Now, this is going to bring you into a local match, guys. Go ahead and just pause it and then click F2. And you're going to want to find this little toggle window icon. And all you need to do, guys, make sure that you choose the player you want to play as and enable player control and loop and click start playback. And go ahead and live out all of your dreams and fantasies right here. It's cool because you can play as any player on the field, but keep in mind Justin's bot is abnormally tox. Another really cool thing you guys can do is pick your own replay files to use for this. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one because it's epic. Pick the spot you want to start recording from, name it something sick, and then go ahead and start recording. This one looks a lot cooler in game. Now once you've done that guys, go ahead and just go back to the main screen, pick the replay file that you just used, and then click start match.
you're kind of sick, you can also pick a replay where you clipped on one of your boys and just make him relive that for eternity. Clapped. Now, at one point, I actually did have a bot go completely rogue on me, which I didn't expect, but I definitely deserved. Eventually, I did disrespect the bot in the only way that is right. And yes, I did do this to a bot, and I was satisfied. And at one point, Justin was wearing a helicopter hat, which I honestly thought was better than the original. But other than that, the program has been really legit and a lot of fun. And guys, the absolute best part is you never have to miss another open net again. And the best part is, guys, you never have to miss another open net again. Ultimately, this mod was epic, guys. Definitely check out Ripcore Gaming. The link to the website is in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe, guys. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And guys, please check out the rest of my gaming channel. I have a bunch of Rocket League content on there as well as some other games. We have a great time. And also, guys, I am live on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3.30 p.m. EST. Take it easy, fellas.